Hi, this is Marta from Ruby Soup with Pearl Juice, and today I am bringing a very special kind of book haul. I know that I just recently did another book haul, and this is a little bit of repeating myself. However, this book haul is very, very special because all of these books are books that I bought from the Finnish bookstore in Stockholm. In Swedish, it's called Finska bokhandel i Stockholm, and in Finnish it's called Tukholman Suomalainen kirjakauppa. This is a very small, very independent bookstore. They're only open on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and not for eight hours. Uh, I think it's two hours on Wednesday and about five hours on Saturday. It's on Birkegatan in St. Eriksplan. If you ever come to Stockholm or if you live in Stockholm, you take the green line to the stop at St. Eric's Plan, and then you can walk to the bookstore from there. And they sell a lot of secondhand stuff, and the reason why it's called the Finnish bookstore is because, as the title suggests, they predominantly sell books in Finnish, and this is very rare in Stockholm. Despite there being quite a few Finnish speakers here, it's very hard to buy Finnish books. So, um... All that information out of the way. Let's just get to the books. So the first book I have to show is called Godwan and Lapset by Alexis Koros. In English, this would be called Godwana's Children. And this book is famous because it is the very first book that was ever rewarded the Finlandia Junior Prize. That's basically getting the highest honor for writing a book for Finnish children in Finland. And Alexis Kodis is originally from Iran. And this book is heavily based on Persian folklore and myths. It is about a penguin, I think, that gets that accidentally is born to a albatross. And things kind of take off from there. And it deals a lot with identity and philosophical questions. And this book has been translated into Danish, Swedish, Japanese, and Italian, as well as Greek. So uh, that's that's quite a bit for a Finnish book, actually. Very excited to read this because it's a little bit of a mini classic in kids lit over there in Finland. I also bought this poetry collection called Viela Humri Levat Jumalasi, which... That's a very difficult title to translate, but I'll give it a shot. Um, and yet, God Smiles for Us, I think, would be the rough translation. This is an anthology from a competition that a Finnish-speaking magazine in Sweden had, where people sent in poems. And this is a anthology of all the poems that were that were sent to them that got through the rounds. And I thought that it would be very interesting to read poetry done by some amateurish writers as well as that they are all Finnish immigrants so that's something to look forward to and now this will be a book that longtime viewers of my channel might recognize this is called Auring on Asima I talked about this book in my diverse Finnish book recommendation video way way back last year and this is basically a semi-autobiographical novel about a girl who has a Finnish mother and an Egyptian father and about her childhood growing up in Egypt and go growing up in Finland and dealing with identity and what and what is it like to be biracial in Finland and such. And this has been also quite a successful book. It is translated into Swedish as well as German. And uh, I didn't have my own copy so when I found this in the store I bought it because it was only about ten dollars so I thought that I might as well get it uh, so yeah really happy about that and this is another poetry collection done by Iris Saloranta and this is called Laps and Woxy roughly translated for the sake of the children I hadn't heard of this author before, so I think it's always fun to find new authors in these kinds of bookstores. 
And unlike the other poetry collection, this is not written by a Finnish immigrant. This is written by a Finnish speaker in Finland. So it'll be fun to read something like that. And the last book that I got was a little bit of a newer book, Rakentaja by Raimo Pe- Pesonen. Uh, Raimo Pesonen is a author who has been quoted in such magazines as Gansan Utiset, which means like basically the people's voice, and other magazines in Finland, mostly leftist magazines. And this is a 2017 release, and it's about workers and the workplace, and he might actually pen something that has some good social commentary. So I'm very much looking forward to this. So that was all for today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, click the like button, subscribe. You can even click the little notification bell if you would like. And if any of you know any other independent stores that you would like to share with me, please comment down below. I would love to hear some recommendations. And if not, that's all right. I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.